Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is a Town Hall 9 uh, defensive video, and it's pretty specific, but I felt like it was something I had to make, and um, it should be helpful in a way. Now this base here is interesting, it's not, maybe not the base you want to use in war, maybe it is, you might want to change it up a little bit, but it is something I feel like I had to make after... Uh, after the as a response almost because my no fly zone base uh, got beat up pretty bad by a certain strategy called queen pop uh, queen pop is i think there's other names for it it's basically a mass air attack uh, where you just bring lava hounds balloons and the thing is you let the lava hounds pop on top of the queen or that's the goal or maybe the balloons drop bombs on her, either way. But the queen goes down to the actual air part of the attack. Uh, typically, your queen, uh, you lure the CC troops, and your queen deals with them in the corner. You guys have probably seen it. I don't want to elaborate too much. Um, but I will throw a link to a, another channel, Cast and Blast, um, who makes a ton of videos on Queen Pop, and was also the channel that um, showed my old base getting wrecked. So I'll go through a little bit of kind of the history, why I'm making this video, then we'll talk why this base is, I think, almost impossible to three-star with Queen Pop. So um, just to get started, about a few weeks ago, I built a anti-air uh, base. It was called the No-Fly Zone. And I've made two videos on it. The first was just showing the base. The second, I let my subscribers, I let you guys uh, try it out. You had, you were able to friendly challenge it in my subscriber clan, and it was pretty successful for the most part. It held up, I think, against 11 out of 12 attacks. Um, the only thing that got it was a uh, a queen walk type air attack. But I will, um, I'll talk about how this base might defend that a little bit better. But for the most part, it held up really well. Um, Shortly after that, a YouTuber reached out to me, Cast and Blast, as I mentioned, and uh, said he wanted to try out my base in FCs in his own clan. So I said, go ahead. I think a few of his clanmates built the base, and they tried it out, and it was absolutely destroyed um, by this new strategy, Queen Pop. Maybe not a new strategy, but a common, popular strategy. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Uh, typically involves a zap quake as well on one of the air defenses, and then luring the CC troops with a few balloons, killing it in the corner with your queen, then just coming at the base hard from the air, and investing most of your spells there besides the zap quake typically. So, um, I'm going to talk about how this base I think is pretty much anti-queen pop, and now this seems kind of specific, I know, um, but I think it's important to start to find certain things that can defend against these different popular Town Hall 9 strategies. It might not be the best best against like Govaho or something. I know some of you guys were successful against my old base um, in your own clans when you tried it out using Govaho and other strategies that aren't specifically, um, they weren't specifically intended to be defended against. But I think it's important to first understand how we can stop the meta and then we can make adjustments to defend against other stuff like ground attacks and things that aren't as uh, powerful at Town Hall 9 but are still viable attack strategies. So who knows, this base might be okay against ground too, but I am pretty certain that it's uh, it's going to be a very hard base to 3-star with Queen Pop, or pretty much most air attacks for the most part, but it's specifically de designed against Queen Pop, so uh, link is in the, the description if you want to see that attack strategy and how it wrecked my last base if you're kind of curious there. I'll also link my uh, two videos on my uh, no-fly zone base. So let's get right into this, talk about why it's a good base uh, for Town Hall 9 against Queen Pop. Basically what this base does is... It sets up a kill zone right in this area where these three wizard towers are. Um, if you, it'll make it easier if you've seen the video. But basically, in Queen Pop, what people try to do is they send in lava hounds and then send in balloons right behind it. I know it sounds simple, but it's a mass attack from one side of the base basically, and they can either come from the top. I saw that a lot, or this is the bottom, I guess, where the air defenses are. This is technically the top up here. They can come from either side. So it's important that your base can defend against both sides. And it really can work either way because often what happens is the lava hounds, if they come from the top, the lava hounds run through the base towards the air defenses. The balloons, with the help of some spells, are straight behind them, clearing out these defenses. Either a balloon drops on the queen's head or... Um, 
like drops a bomb on the queen's head or the queen follows a lava hound and it pops and the pups eventually get her. Usually that's what happens to kill the queen and that pretty much does it because the bottom part of the base, by the time the balloons move through, can't defend at all. Uh, same thing going the other way is what typically happens is they take out the air defenses really quickly. Then by the time you get to the top of the base, there's still a lot left up. So the lava hounds still tank and the queen goes down in a similar fashion. But what this base does that's interesting is it has a lot of singularities, and that's kind of a weird term to use, um, but basically it brings all the balloons together in one clump. So that happens in a bunch of places. It happens right up here with this surprise Tesla. If they drop a wall of balloons up here, most of them are gonna condense on this one Tesla, which is right there for the wizard tower to start doing work on. I guess you could have put a red trap there, but I wanted to invest pretty much everything in the kill zone. I think that's the best bet, and it just kind of screws up the balloon pathing right off the bat up there. The same thing down here, because no matter, pretty much no matter how you attack this base, the only way to get to these wizard towers um, from this po bottom part of the base, from any angle at the bottom, is to go through that bomb tower to the air sweeper. There's just too big of a gap on the sides here to really be able to access the wizard tower compartment. So what this does is it causes everything to clump up right here, and that's exactly what wizard towers and red air bombs are great at killing, clumped up balloons, because they do that splash damage. Now here's an important thing to note. The lava hounds are typically gonna be out in front a little bit. They're a little bit faster, and uh, the balloons kind of delay after they kill a building. So the lava hounds will typically be out in front so you got to be very careful that the lava hounds don't run out soak up all the red air bombs then the balloons arrive, arrive later so what I did is coming from the bottom here let's just take a look at this first the red uh, bombs don't quite reach that air sweeper so basically the balloons have to kill the air sweeper. The lava hound does pretty much no damage. So even if the lava hound's sitting at the air sweeper, um, the balloons have to come in and make the final kill. By that point, the lava hound will step up, but at such a little distance, the balloons will be right behind it, so they'll get all that damage from the red air bombs. Now, if the balloons don't path in that way, they have a very long, just one by one defense pathing over to the expo, then over to these defenses over here. So it's not an easy path at all. Where balloons are powerful is when they kind of zigzag, they kind of pinball off defenses. It's uh, It cuts down the travel time. If you have a long shoot, like a long line of defenses, they have to go one by one by one, and they can't kind of um, you know cut, cut over and uh, divide into different groups. When they have to go in one big group from defense to defense, it really uh, takes away the power of the balloons. So that's what it does here. It's kind of a one-way path uh, in that direction. Same thing over here, one-way path leading out. So the two options from the bottom for the balloons are either get crushed at this singular singularity, basically, and hopefully get wrecked by all that splash damage, or take this long route, which will also uh, not be the best situation. The queen right here, you can see, she starts to be an issue somewhere around uh, the wizard towers, or depending on the path, prob probably at the Teslas, somewhere in that area. So it'll be interesting to see if this base is attacked, how the queen ends up being a factor. Um, but she is not near any defenses, really. There's a little bit of a buffer between her and any defense, which is intended to make it harder to have the, the lucky balloon drop one of the bombs on her head, because that really sucks for the defender, because uh, it's a pretty much an instant kill for most level queens, especially when there's multiple balloons. So um, that's pretty much it from the bottom. Um, let's talk about the top for a little bit. First of all, like I said, we have this little singularity up here, so if they start spamming balloons, and this isn't a spam attack, don't get me wrong, it takes, you know, skill, but um, it's a very mass, all-at-once attack. So if they spread a bunch of balloons up there, they should all condense, or most of them should condense to this Tesla, makes it easy for the wizard tower, screws up the pathing, because now they have to go from defense to defense, they're not spread out, it's not as efficient. Um, and the paths from there are basically just go to the expo, um, on either side, there's nowhere else to go, um, nothing defensive-wise in here. And then from there, Tesla, Archer Tower, Air Defense, they're just going to the front of the base. The only way to get to these Wizard Towers, and um, obviously there's certain balloon path and you could screw this up, if they inject balloons into here to take out these defenses, it would possibly make it so the balloons could go from the Expo straight in. That would be an advanced attack, and I think people... Uh, probably wouldn't plan for, especially not knowing Teslas are here on the first attack. Um, so the most likely the balloons are going to have some difficulty coming from this side up here to get to this wizard tower kill zone area. Um, 
one thing to point out is if the balloons could easily make it um, from the from the expos to the wizard towers, the air bombs wouldn't be in a good place because the lava hound would naturally get out in front a little bit and probably soak up these air bombs because there's quite a distance from the expo to the wizard tower. So assuming a lava hound hypothetically went uh, down that path, it would probably get far enough out in front of the balloons to soak up all that damage without the balloons being affected. So this base is pretty much dependent on uh, the balloons not going from the expo to the wizard tower, which I think is hard for it to happen. Most balloons at least are going to kind of make their way out um, in this little circle. The air sweeper helps as well. They're just going to kind of make their way out from either side, circling around to the front of the base, which is going to be very ineffective. It's going to be a very long path for them to take, and they won't get to those wizard towers in the middle, which is what you want um, from that side. Uh, one thing to point out is that Tesla, Troll Tesla, um, can this base get any crazier? A Troll Tesla up top with two of these skeleton traps set on air. The idea here is that only balloons are going to go up here. There's no reason for lava pups to come up. The balloons cannot defend themselves against the Tesla. So worst come to worst, the balloons kind of wreck the base. Hopefully there's not too many left up. So when they come to the top, the, uh, the uh, skeleton traps can take them out by the time the balloons start trying to help with cleanup. So that's another thing that might be effective there. The pups, there's no chance of them really going, unless a lava hound runs over, that's a possibility. If a lava hound runs over to the corner, then there might be some pups that could explode from that. But if it's just balloons, that'll that'll get them, the, uh, the skeleton traps on air uh, up at the top there. Bit of a risk, but this base is completely a risk uh, all around. So I think I covered Queen Pop, basically. Um, you could try from the side. I've never seen it from the side. That would be interesting. Um, I don't know how it would turn out, to be honest. But I haven't seen it, and I don't think it would change stuff much because it would still be very difficult to get to these wizard towers unless you come from the one uh, place that uh, seems like reasonable pathing, which is the, the way uh, we want them to come. Uh, so they hit the red bombs, the wizard towers, all at once. Um, they might be able to use a freeze spell, but I think even if they did, um, they couldn't freeze all the wizard towers, and there would still be these four red air bombs, which probably would be enough to take out an entire group of balloons, I believe. So this base is going to wreak some havoc, hopefully, uh, if anyone tries it with Queen Pop. Now, a few things I want to, uh, to mention as well, just as far as kind of other attack strategies. It is a possibility someone could hypothetically queen walk the entire bottom of this base. Now, I did put a bunch of HP down here. Um, I'm not sure if that would make a huge difference, but it would definitely slow the queen down. You could kind of take some of these walls out maybe and kind of put them to protect these air defenses a little bit better so they can't be targeted from the outside of the base if that's something you're worried about. I don't think that's that common, but this base might lend itself to that strategy, so be on the lookout there. Also, the attack, the only attack that was successful against the no-fly zone last time when I did it uh, with my subscribers was a earthquake on the side here and having the queen charge her way into the core. That still could be a threat, but I think the core is big enough that there's so much uncertainty she'd probably either stick to this side or stick to this side. So, and also we have the um, seeking air mines here to take out healers if they come through that direction. So I think that would... um. That would make it difficult, and obviously these air defenses are kind of set back, so if the queen doesn't target them right away, they might start getting on those healers. Uh, one thing that's really, really important, um, I should have mentioned this earlier, specifically for queen pop, have an all archer CC. And the reason for that is basically what people want to do at the beginning of the attack, like I said, they want to drop balloons to try to lure out the CC troops and they want to lure out only the air targeting stuff. So they'll drop balloons because all the balloons will trigger is the air targeting stuff. So notice how the CC, first of all, can't really be lured. Um, if you look at the range here, CC not lurable uh, for the most part there. Yeah, pretty much. So what I did here is, first of all, I put some uh, seeking air mines. That's where I think they'll try to lure the CC. Possibly from the top here, but the Tesla's there to guard that if they come from the top. Plus, there's so much damage. I think they might try like a haste and try to get some balloons right in here. There's no way they could do the bottom with how many air defenses there are. Um, especially with these mortars kind of blocking things out a little bit. So I think their only option is to lure the CC somewhere around the top. And if it's all archers, it takes so long for the archers to empty out of the CC. I don't think there's any way the balloons would last long enough. And if uh, if they don't lure the CC completely, then there's archers left in the base to kill the balloons, kill lava hounds, kill lava pups. 
all good stuff there. So 30 archers, that's what I would recommend. Um, and that's gonna be your best bet. But yeah, the Seeking Ermines, I put them to kill some of the CC lure balloons. And even if they don't lure from there, they'll at least get a balloon or two. Well, I guess just one balloon, that's all they can get. But they'll at least get a balloon that targets this Archer Tower at some point. So we have that. And then at the bottom here, I put it to kill healers possibly. This is not for Queen Pop anymore, but for another attack if they use healers on a uh, Queen Charge. And also just to uh, to hit whatever's in this area. Wasn't exactly sure, so we just put it by that air defense, I guess. Also, this base, you know, I think would defend okay. It has good spring trap locations, pretty good giant bomb locations as well, I think. Actually, pretty pretty solid there. So I think this base is not totally a knockdown against uh, uh, Govaho and um, Stoned Hobo and stuff like that. I think it can hold its own, possibly. So my challenge, I guess, is... Uh, I'd like to see Cast and Blast take this base on. Now, maybe he doesn't want to do it. I guess that would be completely fine. Uh, maybe I'll open it up for Friendly Challenge. This is annoying me how this isn't symmetrical. There we go. Same compartment, uh, same wall placement. But yeah, maybe um, Cast and Blast won't want to do it. I don't know. He's probably a busy guy. But um, I probably will just give him a message saying, hey, if you want to take on this base, it's here for you. And it was uh, it was interesting seeing how he's able to take it down in that last video. Like I said, I'll link that in the description as well as the uh, the two other videos I've made on the No Fly Zone so far. But let's call this the No Fly Zone 2.0. I will try to get some attacks, whether it's from Cast and Blast, someone else, some of the subscribers like you guys. I don't know. I'll do my best to see if I can get some attacks on the space to show. But I think it can hold up um, against especially Queen Pop and possibly a few other strategies as well. So uh, that'll do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. No Fly Zone 2.0. Like I said, maybe not the best base to copy yet. It's still theoretical. But um, look at the uh, techniques I used. Maybe you can implement that into your base in some, uh, somehow, especially with the wizard towers in the middle and uh, kind of the, the kill zone, so to speak, right in that area. Uh, but yeah, that'll do it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.